welcome to another episode of Earning the Hate. Hey, young people! And the hate just keeps on coming. Man. You know, how do stereotypes of aggressive shaved head cops being aggressive and out of control and angry all the time, how does that stereotype get started anyway? because it's normally true. Parents say it is hard to believe, but they have the video to prove it. The game, the game. The game was over, but the drama was just getting started when these two teams lined up to shake hands. Just listen. Ah, uh, that kid hit me hard. Uh, the kid hit me hard. What a freaking punk sergeant cop. He is going to get mad at kids at a baseball game. How un-American is that? And this guy is a cop, limited immunity, carrying a badge and gun, the ability to put people in jail and take away their freedoms. Are you freaking kidding me? Dude, if this dude worked for me, he's gone. You're out. But Rick, he just got upset. No. No, this is not just getting upset, banging on little kids, hitting other parents' kids. You're not even in uniform. If you did it in uniform, I could say, well, maybe, you know, they were resisting. I can't. It's a ball game. What a freaking punk. I hit right in the head. The kid hit me hard. That coach pulled me back. Prospects baseball. That coach is really mad. Those poor little kids. They want a baseball game and you go a high five and you got a freaking punk ass sergeant cop playing coach wanting to be macho on little kids. What a freaking coward punk. Ball just beat Scorpions, Team Eastern Red. Watch again. This time watch the coach in khaki shorts, who appears to do a little more than a simple high five. Nothing in the world gives Notice how he's not in line with the other coaches and holding his hand out. He's invading and hitting them with his shoulder and shoulder. What a tough guy. Wow. That guy's strong, Rick. He can push around little kids. Yeah, the old blue line. Is that a blue line flag he's got on his shirt? The old blue line. Yep. They're all heroes. Rick, why are you always picking on them? Why do you hate a cop slept with your wife? That's why you hate them. Whatever, you freaking idiots defending assholes like this. Gives you a right to go in and do that to kids. Especially. Victor Torres coaches the prospects. Torres says you'd expect it from the kids, but the coach? They'll come in here and slap you hard on the hand and be like, hey, don't do that, you know? But an adult, you wouldn't expect it. Here's how Scorpions Baseball responded, saying his actions were unacceptable and do not align with our organization's values. We removed him from coaching and from our club around 8.38. Okay, raise your hand if you think this is the first time this shaved head sergeant cop has displayed angry tendencies and violent abusive conduct. Raise your hand if you think it's the first time. Yeah, it's because you're an idiot. AM Sunday. The coach seen displaying poor sportsmanship is Kenneth Went. He's a member of the Harris County Constable Precinct 5 office. In January of 2021, he was promoted to sergeant, according to Precinct 5's Facebook page. How is that even possible? You know, you, you, you hold them to a higher standard, and then you come out here and do that to, to kids. A parent from the Scorpions who was at the game. And here we go, a blue line supporter. We have to support our cops. He's a cop. He's a badge. We have to support him, even though they're being... Yeah, back the blue until it happens to you. Back the blue until you're dead. your kids are dead, too. Here we go. Came defending the former coach, saying, quote, We have known the Wendt family for two years, and Kenny has always been a great husband, father, and coach. Oh, of course he has. As for Picking coach on little Torres, kids. Like I tell my kids, we don't lose, we learn. Ow, ow. He says this was a teacher. Those poor little kids saying, ow, ow. Man, I, ah, uh, <laughs> I can't stand coward punks that take advantage of those who can't fight back. What a freaking weasel. moment for everyone. You don't do that to a nine-year-old. You don't put your hands on nine-year-olds, especially someone else's child. And earlier today, I spoke with somebody from the Harris County Constable Precinct 5 office. Oh, let me guess. They're going to investigate it. They said they are aware of the incident and they're looking into it. Perfect. Perfect. Earning the hate for this piece of crap. 
Well, Annette Dare, 